Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Kim. Nice to have you. I make videos almost weekly. Sometimes it varies and I don't, but an easy way to see when I post a video is to subscribe and hit that post notification bell and that way you'll get notified when I make a new video. But anyways, this video is going to be of my first physical therapy session. I start PT today. If you don't know, I got shoulder surgery at the end of January. So that was about, I don't know what, six, seven weeks ago. And yeah, today's my first physical therapy session, so gonna go do that. I just thought I would bring you guys along to see what it's like starting out PT, getting my range of motion back, starting some exercises and whatnot in case you've gone through surgery or you're just curious. And yeah, it's about an hour away, so I need to leave ASAP or I'm gonna be late. Uh, woke up and dilly-dallied for way too long. But yeah, gonna get going, show you guys the exercises, so let's get to it. I really didn't wanna look for a new PT, so I was I kind of like, in the back of my brain, I was sabotaging myself. I and I was you. like, do I need physical therapy? <laughs> yes. And then I like, well, every morning when I wake up from sleeping, it hurts, so. Okay. Labor repair? Yeah, yeah, I have. What else, did, did one, they do anything two, else when they were in there? Three, four, no. Oh, and I brought lovely dermatitis from the bandages. Really? Yeah, not like infectious or anything. Okay. Kind of gross. Um, no, it, I have one anchor in the front, mm -hmm. two in the back. Um, he also said there was a little fraying of my rotator cuff, but not a big deal. My labrum is very thin. He said, so I, he goes, I wonder if, you know, your hip was thin too, like you just, Oh, just like uh, genetically? Yeah, because here what he said like genetically, because he, he did Ryan's too. So he was like, between you and your brother, you guys are just very loose and we knew that. Mm -hmm. um, he said that when he was in, inside, he moved my, like before he did anything, was moving my shoulder and it just went in, out, all over the place, like every direction. Okay. Um, so I only needed two anchors, but he did the third because he kind of went from the front all the way to the back and just tightened it, like. Sure. If that makes sense. Yeah, okay. What I do find, which is kind of annoying me, is so after my hip surgery, I always have to sleep down with something in between my legs. And now it's like, I don't like my shoulder being like this. It, there needs to be something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's normal, I don't know if that's normal. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's definitely normal early on if you're feeling any type of um, like stiffness, because mm -hmm. you're just thinking about like, imagine putting yourself in like a, some type of low level stretch and then staying there for eight hours. Eventually it'll feel like achy and uncomfortable. Yeah. So when your elbow is close to your body, it's essentially like bringing your arm across your body. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, this never, is yeah, not the that's resting not the position. Most comfortable. Yeah. This isn't the resting position for the arm, right? Mm -hmm. We don't we don't stand like this. Yeah. Right? Our arms are away from our body a little bit. So when you're laying on your side, it's actually Slightly stretching an area that was just operated on, which is the only reason it's uncomfortable. Okay. It's not saying forever. I was you would thinking have to do that. because, oh, maybe because of my, because my sling is very heavy duty. Mm -hmm. It was like that. Yep. So I was thinking maybe because of that, it's just not comfortable. That's the reason the sling brings you away from your body, is because this is not, more of a normal. resting position. Okay. Um, so I mean, again, like that should ease up over time, just as like you get further out. It's not like you have to have something under your arm forever, but mm -hmm. it's not uncommon. The right shoulder is oh, the show. Oh, this right hip just gets tighter and tighter every day. Yeah, because what have you been doing over the last two months? Last week, yeah. I did a 15 minute leg workout. Yeah? That was something. What did it look like? It was squats, side lunges, a bit. <laughs>
motions are shoulder, you're getting to about shoulder height, maybe just past on the right side. Um, I didn't bring your elbow up to 90 because that's just a vulnerable position right now and I want to wait to kind of see if he specifically asks us not to do that on the protocol. Yeah. But for the most part, external rotation, you're at about like 35 to 40 degrees. Internal rotation, you're at about 15 degrees. Uh, I'm sorry, 30 degrees. And I was testing it down here, not all the way up here. So it's just a little bit of a different stress on the shoulder. So this won't feel as much of a stretch. Whereas up here, it's going to feel like, whew, like that feels uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. My knuckles. I can feel you like almost take my whole scalp, like shoulder kind of up. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I'm trying to do it in a way where we're not actually manipulating this. Mm -hmm. It's the entire unit. So you shouldn't feel anything in here, but like in this region, yeah. you should almost feel that yeah. opening up. Hopefully, if we can get this moving, it'll help free up this motion. Mm -hmm. Not full today, but you'll feel it um, more of a stretch, less of a pinch whenever you get to your end range, right? That pinching always tells us we're at the end of wherever the joint's allowing us. A stretch could just mean muscles have been tight for a while, muscles have been contracting for a while, mm -hmm. trying to protect. So like, we're gonna use your description of what you're feeling to dictate like, let's not try and push past that. not just like oh feel this move when you inhale yeah. it's like exhale fully feel your abs kick in keep that like light tension in your abs as you breathe that's it you don't have to think about anything else we're doing this again just feel like that way <laughs> your fingers my scapula are you kidding me this is this is about me all right <laughs> this is about my comfort oh nothing's changed <laughs> If the shoulder gets better, it gets better, but this is, this is about my fingers right now. Four years. Right now. <laughs> Still you. Hey. Isn't that crazy? You come up on four years. It is crazy. You were just a little girl when we started. You were young. <laughs> Younger. <laughs> <laughs> you were still younger than me no matter how old I was. Uh, scoop the hips up. Reach both arms straight up towards the ceiling. Okay. No, you're good there. So what I want you to think about is if you feel this area start to tip back, as if you're tipping back, then bring your arms lower, okay. both arms. Otherwise, I want you about shoulder height. Good, don't crush the ball. Pull the step towards you to get some hamstrings going, okay? And then breathe like we were just talking about. So get that full long exhale. Bad with it. It's our oh please like for the next set I want you if you can with that shoulder is that right? Yeah it just has not been used. <laughs> so it's like So what what sensation are you feeling? Just like um like just tired, like it's not painful okay. or anything. It's just like, oh, my muscle's on. That's okay. You know? As long like, as it's- Like a burning, but like a, a working muscle burn, not like a, that. ow, that hurts burn. If you can get your forearms to the wall, elbows oh, too, yeah, just okay. move closer to the wall. Okay. Exercises, so yeah. you're good with that. Um, I want you to do 
five sets, five breaths of each twice a day. Okay. And I will send it to you right now. And then my only question is with my incisions, I've been massaging them. Yep. Sometimes they hurt. Is that normal? Or like I hear a pop, but that's just the scar tissue, right? Okay. Yeah, which is, there's nothing that you're gonna do massaging that's gonna do anything negative. Okay. If by some miracle it did something negative, it would have happened anyway. Like okay. you're not doing anything with your finger. Okay. Um, so, and you don't need to push deep. I think like the hip, like it's literally just for the like the skin on the surface to not be like super. Alrighty, so that was my first physical therapy session. Love Jeremy, he's my favorite. Um, anyone who needs PT and lives in Jersey, like more Southern Jersey by the shore, go to him. It's a game changer. Physical therapy, I will leave his like Instagram and, and whatnot below, but he's the best. I've been with him through my hip, my knee, my ankle, now my shoulder. And yeah, feeling pretty good. It was nice to move my shoulder and just get into it. Um, I see my surgeon again at the end of April, and by then he wants to see like pretty good range of motion and whatnot. So I'm sure we'll get there, hopefully. I know I will. Jeremy's good. If I give him a goal, he's gonna get it. But um, yeah, that's about it. Um, this video is just short and sweet, just to show you the session and some exercises we did. Um, two of those ending exercises I have to do f uh, five sets twice a day of um, at home, and then I see Jeremy again at the end of the week on Friday. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys liked this video. I know it's short, but just wanted to show you guys what I did um, for my shoulder. And yeah, if any of you are going through surgery right now, I feel for you. I understand, I know your pain, but it gets better. And with that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, that post notification bell like I said in the beginning and I will see you guys in my next video.